Joining us is CEO Kurt Bock. He's in Ludwigshafen for us. Uh, Mr. Bock, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Good there morning. is a problem in your industry as a whole that is of lower demand. To what extent are you seeing that trend? And really, looking ahead, does that lower demand alarm you? Actually, we don't see lower demand. What we see is growth issues are coming down a little bit. And you have to keep in mind that we had a great first quarter, excellent sales and earnings growth. The second quarter, again, was very, very solid. Sales growth of 14%, EBIT improvement of 16% on a comparable basis. Uh, we continued to increase volumes, and we continued to increase prices, which is very, very important, because we had to cope with very high raw material costs. And we were able to almost entirely pass on those additional costs to our customers. So we see Q2 as a very solid and good quarter. And we commented already earlier on that we expect kind of a normalization of growth rates over the course of 2011. Well, let's stick with growth. What is your forecast for China? Are you seeing a lower demand there? Uh, first of all, we confirmed our outlook for 2011, where we said we will significantly increase sales and earnings for the entire year. So we are still quite confident, I would say. In China, what you saw at the end of the second quarter was a little bit of an easing of growth rates. But again, we look at growth rates in China of at about 9%, which is very, very solid. And we expect that China will continue to grow, obviously. Um, and this is a very important country for BSF, as we all know. Do you think that clients are actually holding back somewhat, waiting for those commodity prices to come down? I think you got a point here uh, because we noticed that some of our customers have become a little bit more careful to place orders. Uh, actually, they are looking at their own inventory levels, and some of them started a little bit of destocking, uh, which, again, from our point of view, is a healthy development because it will smooth the further development into 2011, into the second half. And what we don't like is really an overbuild of inventories, and then all of a sudden customers get scared and might stop buying, uh, which has happened before in the past. So I think uh, we see prudent behavior in the marketplace. Uh, Mr. Bock, we've just had the German unemployment figures there out. They're in line with expectations in July at 7%. Briefly, what is your outlook for the German economy? Just reacting on those quickly, if you would. The German economy is growing at a very good pace, as we all know. We are very confident for 2011. Unemployment is at record low, lowest since 20 years, which is really amazing. At the same time, being here in Germany, you feel a little bit like being on an island because you have quite a few countries in Europe which have to cope with their own very difficult situation. And for a company like BSF, Europe is really the home market. China and North America are very important. So the development in Germany itself is important, but we ha I think we have to look at the broader picture of what's happening in Europe right uh, now. And also one of your other big markets, of course, is the United States. Are you extremely concerned about the, the debt crisis that is happening over there right now? How is that going to impact you? I think everybody has to be concerned about the performance, which we can watch right now, uh, happening in Washington. I, probably at the end of the day, they will find some kind of solution. What I can tell you about our business, we had good volume growth in Q2, and it looks like uh, Q3 will have, again, good volume growth. So the okay. manufacturing sector Kurt in Bach, the United I'm States I'm so sorry, I've got to cut you off because we are out of time.